Hey guys, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and welcome to part 15 of my Pop EDM production series in Logic Pro 10. We did a lot of things in the last video, but one big thing that we did was create this pitch uh, riser aux track for our claps and snare tracks to go through and pitch shift uh, the claps and snares as we lead into the drop section. After I made that video, I realized uh, that I forgot one part of the riser section, which was a synth riser, which I'm going to show you quickly how to do that uh, in this video. So the first thing we're going to do is create a new software instrument track. Um, you can press uh, Option Command N to create a new track or uh, Option Command S to create a new software instrument track. So here it is. And I'm just going to call this uh, synth riser. There we go. Um, the synth we're going to add to this, or the instrument we're going to add to this, is just the ES2. Um, although, after we're done with it, um, it's not going to sound anything like the sound that we actually choose. Um, in the ES2, the preset we're going to choose is under synth leads. It's the very top one, Acid Pulse Wave. Um, it's a very simple, very stock sound. Um, what we're going to do to it is pull up the analog knob, which is going to give us a bit more of like a chorusy effect. So I'll pull that up about halfway. And the number of voices, I'm going to pull up to 16. And then I'm also going to turn on the unison button so that we're essentially layering 16 voices in Legato um, um, and then pulling up the analog knob to get that thick chorus effect. We're also going to turn up, because we're only using one oscillator here. Oscillators 1 and 3 aren't even being used. For oscillator number 2, we're going to pull the tuning up an octave, not down an octave. So I'm just going to option click on that. All right, so that's just like the stock sound. Let's uh, enter in the notes. Um, at measure 44, it's the last two measures of the, uh, the build-up section. I'm going to right-click and choose Create Empty MIDI Region. And I'm going to trim that out to be exactly two measures long. Double-click on that to open up the Piano Roll Editor. And the notes we're going to add in are um, basically B2 right below C3 and B3 right below C4. It's a pretty simple uh, sound by itself, but again, when we're done with it, it's not going to sound anything uh, anything like this. Okay, so I'm going to use the pencil tool. I'm going to make sure that my grid is back to 16th notes. I believe we changed it to 8th notes in a previous video. And these are the notes that we're going to add. Um, we're going to add um, right here, B2. We're going to skip every other note, or every third note, really, just like this. If you want to turn that off while it's while you're typing in, you can just click on this button right here. It turns off the MIDI out. And we'll just keep going and keep going. And then for the very last one, instead of being here, it's actually going to be one more, one more over, one more 16th note over. Um, what we're going to do is every other note, starting at the third note, I'm just going to hold shift and drag over all of these is going to go up an octave. So I'm going to, with all those selected, I'm going to press Shift Option Up. And it's going to pull those up an octave. So let me just click on that clip and then press U to set the cycle range around it and just solo that track and let's see what that sounds like. So pretty simple. So we're actually going to take this idea and make it some, sound like something completely different, almost like synth strings with some really heavy reverb. We're actually going to add reverb twice, believe it or not. Um, but on the synth riser track, we're going to add Space Designer first. So go down to re Reverb, Space Designer. The setting we're going to use is called, uh, it's under Large Spaces, and it's under Warped Spaces, and it's called uh, Endless Space. Now this this... Um, reverb tail has a 33 second tail. We don't want it to be quite that long. So I'm going to double click on the length and I'll change it to something like 15 seconds, which is still quite long. I'm going to grab these two little, um, um, little things right here and adjust the envelope of the, um, the actual reverb tail. So I'm going to make it something that's a little bit more linear as opposed to something like this where it just lasts forever and it doesn't decay very quickly. We want it to decay a little bit more quickly because we don't want the sound to last forever. I'm going to pull the dry signal almost all the way down. And we're also going to turn the filter off. We're going to go into the EQ 
get rid of this low shelf in the EQ because we don't want a low fre- frequency emphasis. We want a high frequency emphasis. We kind of want, kind of want this to sound like ambient strings. So we're going to add in our high frequency shelf and then bump that up quite a bit. And I'll pull the frequency of that down to about 3000. There we go. So let's give that a listen. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to run the synth riser into the pitch riser aux track along with the snare and uh, clap effect so that this effect rises up in pitch up to an octave higher than it is now to, uh, when, as we get to the end of the buildup section and then leading into the drop section. So I'm just going to route the output of the synth riser into the pitch riser. So click on that, go to its output, and change it from stereo out to the bus that we assigned, which was bus 8. So let's give that a listen. Alright, so that's pretty cool, but I want to make it have a little bit more high frequency emphasis, and also I want it to be a little bit more ambient. So uh, really the space designer that we threw on there now is just for effect to sort of transform it into strings or a pad. Believe it or not, I want to have something that makes it sound like it's more like in a hall as opposed to just being endless space. So I'm going to actually add Space Designer again after our first Space Designer. It's probably the only time you'll ever see me do something like this. Um, and I'm just going to, uh, under large spaces, I'm just going to go to Halls and add the large choir hall. And I'm just going to use it as is. I'm not going to uh, mess with any of the settings. And then before the first Space Designer, if you just hover over the... Um, gap here uh, in uh, front of the first space designer you can add another plugin before the first plugin so I'm going to click there and I'm going to go down to pitch go down to pitch shifter and in the pitch shifter plugin I'm just going to um, tune this up by a full octave by 12 semitones I'll keep the mix at around 25% uh, and that's pretty much it I'll just leave it uh, leave it alone like that and let's uh, let's give this a listen All right, so the last thing I want to do to this is I'm going to drag the tail end of the region out about four bars. And the reason for that is our pitch riser goes back down after four bars. And I don't want to hear this go back down because this this really tails off for a long time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on region automation, click on that. And as we lead into 46, this can be full volume like where it is now. But before that, I want it to sort of fade in a bit. So I'll just pull this down to about negative seven. And then from about measure 47 onward, I'm going to pull this down so it fades out to nothing. So that's just going to control the volume over time. And now I can take this clip and I can copy and paste it everywhere it needs to go. So I'm just going to go over to my snap, turn on bar snap. And I'm going to hold option and drag this over to the last two bars of the second hook buildup. And this also goes at the end of the song at measure 20 or 127. So I'm going to pull this over again, the last two bars before 127. All right, so let's give this a listen with uh, with everything in the mix and let's hear what our uh, our buildup sounds like with our synth riser in there. <laughs> Cool. So it might sound a little loud now. It's not a big deal. We'll, we'll take care of that later uh, in mixing. All right, cool, guys. So that's uh, the last thing I wanted to show you on the, the synth riser and the hook buildup section. Um, that was just, again, one thing that I forgot to show you in the last video. In the next video, we'll move on to vocal production and we'll tune up and time correct uh, the vocals. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.